Hello everyone, this is Soviet Russian Bear. So, a solemn ceremony of launching a new diesel electric submarine Magadan, the third in a series for the Russian Pacific Fleet, took place in St. Petersburg. How did she come into existence? Why is she given terrifying nicknames by NATO? And why is Russia re-equipping its submarine fleet with her? Project 636 is the successor of the Soviet project 877 Paltus, which was planned to be supplied to the countries of the now deceased Warsaw Pact. When her first upgraded version was brought out for sea trials, it turned out that it practically does not make any noise. The noise level at the speed of 5 knots was only 30 decibels, which is quieter than the natural noise of the external environment. Therefore, NATO nicknamed the sub Black Hole in the Ocean, and they were happy that it was designed for operating in the near sea zone. Otherwise, the American nuclear-powered ships with a noise level of 170 decibels would be completely uncomfortable in the ocean next to her, but the collapse of the USSR disarranged all of our plans. In the mid-90s, instead of equipping our own navy, we were forced to build black holes for sale to other countries. China ordered 10 vessels, Vietnam ordered 6 vessels, Algeria ordered 4 vessels. Although this greatly delayed the rearmament of our submarine fleet, it also had undoubted advantages. Firstly, it helped to load shipbuilding enterprises and hold out during the troublesome times. Secondly, the production of two dozen subs and the constant upgrade of the project based on the vast experience of their operation in a wide range of external conditions led to the advent of an even more advanced version, Project 636.3. Today it is considered the best in its class. And since the caliber PL cruise missiles, which proved to be good in Syria, were also included in the standard armament, the sub was renamed Incinerator in the Western press. Russia has become stronger and has again returned to the issue of re-equipping its own navy. In the conditions of the Baltic, Black, Sea of Okhotsk, coastal waters of Kamchatka, diesel subs are superior to nuclear ones in terms of efficiency. Besides, they are five times cheaper to build and operate. As a result, the Ministry of Defense has launched an extensive program for upgrading the fleet of diesel submarines to Project 636.3. Novorossiysk submarine was accepted into service in 2014. In total, six such vessels were built for the Black Sea Fleet. Six more are planned for the Russian Pacific Fleet and Magadan is the third of them. The Northern Fleet will also receive the advanced version. But are they as good as the press says? In 2017, NATO forces staged a hunt for our sub en route, en route from the North Sea to Gibraltar. And although she was not hiding, it turned out to be very difficult to track her. And Dutch and German frigates, an American cruiser and P-8 Poseidon anti-submarine patrol aircraft were involved in the operation. Following this, the US 6th Fleet lost track of the B-265 Krasnodar submarine as soon as it left the coast of Libya and found it only when it was on the surface passing the Turkish Straits after it hit targets in Syria with its caliber cruise missiles. And in the summer of 2019, the Chinese, uh, the Chinese on the 634 three, no, M sub brazenly surfaced uh, inside the security perimeter of the U.S. aircraft carrier group just during its anti-submarine exercises in the South China Sea. And that they calmly dived and left in an unknown direction. So practice proves that the sub turned out to be excellent and the fact that our fleet has switched to it causes extremely positive emotions. Okay guys, this has been Soviet Russian Bear. Peace, love and prosperity to you. If you liked that video, please click the like button. And if you want more videos like this, please click that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss a new video. 
So, so it bear out. Bye bye.